Hello, I'm Scott with Cochrane Tech Services. This video is all about how to migrate a Niagara AX station all the way to Niagara 4. The versions I'm using today are 3.8.504 and my N4 version is 4.13. So to begin this, the first thing I'm gonna need is a backup of my AX station. So in my AX workplace, I'm gonna right click my station that I'm already logged into and then left click backup station. I currently don't have any backups here. I'll leave this at the default path, default directory. I'll even save the default name. So I'll click save. And we know that the backup was complete when we get a little green checkbox and a Fox backup success on the bottom right of our workbench. Now where did that file go is if I expand my file system under my host, under my sys home and under my backups, I'll have my backup file there. Understanding where this syshome exists in Niagara AX is actually really important in this case. And where it is, is under our C drive, we have a Niagara folder. And under our Niagara version of AX, where we took this backup, under that backups folder is where we'll find that distribution or that backup file. I'm going to left click this path here, so I just don't have to type it again. And I'm going to click Control C to copy that path. After I've copied that path, what I need to do is open up that migration tool in the version of Niagara 4 that I want to migrate to. Here in Vicon N4 Supervisor for 4.13, I'm going to open up the writable console. And in my writable console, we know it's writable because we got this blue background. I'm going to type in N4 MIG, that's Niagara, the number 4, Mike India Golf, space, control V and then a backslash and then after this backslash what I'm going to type in is the name of this distribution file that backup file and I could rename it to make it something easier in this case I'll leave it the default just for demonstration purposes and it has to be exact it is case sensitive when we're typing it in we also need the file extension this is a distribution file so don't forget the dot dist here I'll click enter. It's going to run through this migration tool. It's ran through that migration tool. It's asking us if this is a controller station. Is this a JACE or is this a supervisor that's going to run on a Linux machine or a Windows machine? Well, because this is a particular JACE station, I'm going to type the letter C in my writable console and click enter. And it should complete this entire migration. Now, just because we get some errors here, there's a couple things that be causing that. You could not have the proper modules. Make sure you have the proper modules, especially if you're migrating from a Distech AX or Honeywell Web's AX station to an N4. Also here, it says we remove the Niagara Fox service in that BOG file. So understand that there have been lots of changes between Niagara 3.8.504 and 4.13. So we would expect some weird, goofy things. It's very rare that I've seen a migration go perfectly. Not only have the role service, user service, and category service changed, there are periodic and progressive changes throughout different revisions of Niagara. So I always recommend, if you're coming from an AX station, it should be at least 3.8. You should migrate it to Niagara 4.8, and then you can recommission that station on a newer JACE if you need to. Now, being that we have this new migrated station, where it ended up going was here in our 413 user home. Niagara 413 Vicon brand stations, it's called AX station. So let's open up my Niagara 4 workplace and see where that might exist. Under my host, I have my file system. Under my file system, I've got my user home. Under my user home, my stations folder. Here's that new AX station. And this is where I can end up commissioning a new JACE 8000 or JACE 9000 with this particular station. Hey, you did it. You migrated an AX station to N4. Woohoo! Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you again soon.